Hi my friends, welcome to the Diamond Painting Effect with Corey. I am Corey and today is European Town Monday and this is where we you come along and stitch with me. Here comes Gunther and um, you come along and stitch with me while I work on European Town and we catch up a little bit and I guess it's time to just jump right on in. This is European Town is a massive stamped cross stitch pattern that I have. It's 222 centimeters long by 45 centimeters wide and it is an 11 count. It's meant to be done with three strands of floss and I am doing it with two strands of floss. I did a, a cross stitch kit with three strands. The first one I did was three strands and I hated it. I still hate it and I will probably never finish it. So I went to two strands and I'm happier with the process. I actually think it looks neater at least for my stitching abilities. I think it looks neater and so that's what I've kind of stuck with. And as an update I want to show you I finally these are some um, cross stitch patterns that I had completed but I hadn't washed them yet and so I have finally washed them I told you I was going to do that with you but I did it in the middle of the night last night so or the other night and I didn't share the process with you but this is an 11 count that I did with two strands of floss and so this is my precious moments I am not happy with the charting of this one but um, I think the two strands worked okay with it. If you look at it closely, there are a couple of areas that it, you know, it's kind of sparse in the background. But uh, if you display this, nobody's, unless somebody goes up and looks at it really close, they're not going to notice that detail, I don't think. And I'm happy with it, uh, with the 11, with the two strand coverage. So, the darker colors are tend to be, like I'm going to bring it up close so you can see where the eyes are. That's probably the most noticeable spot that I only use two strands. And um, I think the overall effect is still fine. So that was that one. I washed out the ink from this 11 count stitch pattern. This is winter. I'm going to do this again in a 14 count. Oh, there's a little something there. But, um, no Gunther, this is mine. But I also did this with two strands on 11 count. And I, I'm happy with how it turned out as well. And this one is a 14 count. This is the Oval Tree of Happiness. I believe that's what this one calls. This one's a Joy Sunday. The winter was a Joy Sunday. And I believe the Precious Moments was a, it was either a no name or a DIY. Uh, but it, this is the Oval Tree of Happiness. I noticed that even after being washed, that fold, that crease down the middle is still there. But anyway, so these are those cross stitch patterns. I have freed up three project bags now. So those are able, I'm able to use those and who knows, maybe we'll have some more starts uh, going on. Um, I, on my counted cross stitch that I'm doing with stitching in the inner lake with Ava, we are working together. She does a, a challenge every month, and this month's challenge is to do work on counted cross stitch. And I have completed my June. I, on my June, I went ahead, this was a white color. It's supposed to be on a brown, brown background. I can't remember what they call it. A mocha or something like that. And so I changed out the white twice till I came up with this color. Um, 
as dark as it ended up being, I might as well have used this sand color, but I didn't. And the fabric behind that will not tolerate being pulled out again. Uh, it's it's very delicate under there. And the, I didn't change it in the pinwheel. I did outline it with this color here. And although you can't necessarily see it, I think it helps it to stand out better than it did. But I'm calling this one finished. <clears throat> um, I just got to figure out how I'm going to display all of them. So it'll probably take a while before I do that. <clears throat> and the project where I started last week with Stamping June <clears throat> is this summer. Uh, uh, where's that picture? I love this pattern. It's so, I think it's, here we go. Ah. God, there's not lacking all this activity here. <clears throat> okay, this is the one I'm working on right here. And I, I think it's just cute. I love it. <clears throat> I thought this was supposed to be a porthole, but the name of the pattern is in Bordery Hoop Summer. So uh, this, I guess this is supposed to be in Bordery Hoop. I like the idea of it being a porthole, but um, anyway, I know you can't, you probably can't see, maybe if I bring it in a little bit. even though you can't tell there's a lot of white in here a lot of stitching and I'm just I need to count on that this this the lines that I put in that I gridded will iron out it, this is a heat heat dissolve pen called friction so when I iron it that grid will come out um, but yeah, this is, I spent a lot of time on this and it's, I got discouraged because you can't even see that I've stitched it. But I, and it is only a half stitch. That the, the sky part is only half stitch. This part is full stitch. So I, I, I really like this and I'm hopeful that I can finish it. I don't think I'll finish it in June, but I think I can finish it fairly quick if I have enough stitching time uh, I call you guys I just I have not been feeling well and uh, but but that's what most of my time has been spent to kick the cat wants to play with the tag on here on this this little little zipper pull <laughs> but yeah I've most of my stitching time has been spent on that this week and um, I, I did work a lot on Winter Bluebird, and that when I wasn't feeling good enough to do Counted, that's what I worked on. And we'll get back to the European Town. European Town is, <clears throat> I've decided that I'm going to work on the windows, that blue color in the windows. It's, um... Let's see if I can look it up real quick. It, it is color number 13 in the kit and it's DMC number 469 and it is a, a dark olive green. And so that's the windows. I was looking at this color right here this orange color that is there's a lot of it in here is a 3865 and that's a that is a white color and there's a lot of it along the bottom as well um, and I was looking at there is a red color like this that I, I am gonna have to be careful because there are two colors that are very similar when you do that that you definitely need to check your chart before you start stitching if you have European town guys um, 
they are very similar. <coughs> I'm sorry. And it looks like Gunther might just be able to settle down here. And this is the blue that I'll be stitching. And I've got some threads ready. And we can start the stitching. Let the stitching begin. I, uh, Yeah, not a lot has been happening. I I didn't even make it to church yesterday. I just I just haven't been feeling good and um I don't know what's going on. I haven't bothered to go to the doctor because well I've been through this road before. <coughs> They, they'll do all the blood work and all the tests and everything and if they find out what's wrong uh, <clears throat> yeah, you know it, it'll be something that there's nothing I can do about but every once in a while when I do the loop method of starting my stitch just so y'all know what's going on here every once in a while that little not doesn't quite go under and that's what I'm dealing with right now I, I probably can get away with leaving it as it is but it's bugging me so I'm gonna try to see if I can pull it under and I, I'm gonna have to call it good I'm calling it good so Anyway, um, so I, I'm just letting it go uh, for now. I just, I'm just not doing a whole lot. Uh, I've done a little bit of driving for the Amish. Um, that, that's it. I. We have our ups and downs, and you know, some sometimes I feel a little bit more like doing something than other times, and but I just really just haven't been doing a lot, and it's 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 the kind like there's some kinds of not feeling good that you can just work through, and sometimes there's you just have to stop. And I'm just just not doing well. And I guess the camera was getting tired of me whining because it just stopped on me. So uh, I'm trying to pick it up. I went and I think it's maybe because from time to time it says, "Oh, you've got too much, too much video on your phone. It's time to erase." So I erased a bunch of videos and. Ironically enough, one of them was the unboxing for this European Down. So, uh, anyway, I, I deleted a bunch of videos and we're going to start recording again to see if I can, uh, see if the camera's going to let me do it, let me upload and all that stuff. I, I don't know why I like to save them as long as I can knowing at sooner or later that it, uh, you know, I'm going to have to delete them. Um, I wish there was a way. I know, I know it's on YouTube still, but YouTube has started this deal where they will start erasing your videos if they want to. Uh, usually it's for inactive channels, but Ah, you know, I kind of like it. It's kind of like a personal history for me that I kind of like those videos to stay <clears throat> whether or not anybody watches them. You know, at least, like, it would be there for my son, you know, and forever. <laughs> but, uh, like, he doesn't care about the videos per se, but, you know, someday when I'm gone, they'd be there for him if he wanted him. He'll have a little bit of mama. 
but um, <laughs> he's speaking of Daniel he my baby he's he's doing pretty good he's uh, still working in over in the Wisconsin area he doesn't he's not exclusively in Wisconsin he's he travels you know five to six hours from the hub from the distribution center there in I think it's Chippewa and Appleton have distribution centers for the company that he's hauling for and they go out I think the furthest he goes out but he go, I think there's two or three different states he, he delivers to and he either brings back empties or returns and then he goes and does it again to another store. He's enjoying working with the people up there. He enjoys the the project and so he he just got himself a new some kind of new game handheld game. He said it's like a I don't I don't understand about these things. But he, he does computer gaming, you know, mostly he does the games, I mean, he has all the consoles and all that stuff, but, like, he likes to play compu games from his computer using Steam, and, uh, he's just, I guess there's this new, I don't, I think it's new, but it's a handheld that can act almost as well as his computer, and he loves it because... You know, he when he's when he pulls into a dock, he doesn't know if he's gonna be there fifteen minutes or three hours, you know. It all depends on what's going on where he's at. And so he will uh he has to debate whether or not it's worth pulling out his computer and firing up his games. And so he usually keeps that for when he's stopped for the weekend or, or you know, to let his clock, you know, after, after so much driving, you have to stop for a day and a half uh, without moving. And so, he, this new gadget, he says he, he thinks he can, like, he can just pick it up and work, play his games while he's waiting to see how long he's going to be at the dock. And, um... So I'm, I'm happy for him that he was able to get that, and he seems really excited about it. And, uh, I, I'm glad that he's able to do whatever it takes to make that job uh, more more bearable. I'm all for. So he he's excited about his new little toy, and. Uh, so I'm happy for him. Uh, uh, what other news? We haven't made much progress on the house decision. It's like, uh, and I don't expect it'll be soon. Uh, my sister wants to get another appraisal opinion of her house what's going on with her house and so we're kind of waiting on that before we make any big steps I don't think it's going to change I don't think there's enough money to make it worth sinking into that money pit um, but we shall see uh I wish I had millions of dollars and I would hire somebody to come come do it. If, even if it takes tearing it all down and starting over, it really is a beautiful idea that she had for building that house. It's it's more for a a reunion center than a home. It, although it was her home, it was going to be her home, but she made it so that we could have lots of people come and family. 
so. And that, that's been a dream of hers, and so she, she wants to hold on to that. And I don't blame her. But it was like, there's a bunch of upstairs bedrooms and a, a huge main floor and it is, it is kind of sad to see all that just go. And but I think I think all in all maybe someday something like that can happen but not not now. But with that, my thread has just died, and so I think I got to clear off a little cat fur here, a little Gunther contribution. But I want to thank you for joining me for the diamond painting effect with Corey. Let's see, what it what is it? The diamond painting effect with the Corey that stitches. There we go. I think that's going to be the new name for my channel. The Diamond Penning Effect with the Cory That Stitches. Anyway, y'all take care. I'll see you again in the next one. Take care.